Hello there, Internet Dwellers. Welcome back to another video. Today, we're going to be watching Discord submissions by all of you guys. If you're not part of my Discord, join it down below. If you submit me something scary in the Scarebass submission channel and I react to it, I will be giving you a shout out. Before the video begins, guys, if you're new to the channel, consider subscribing. This is the majority of my content. I do like analog horror, horror in general. Sometimes I play spooky games, you know, that kind of thing. Uh, we're very close to 100,000 subscribers, guys. So any help with that would be greatly appreciated. But yeah, we're going to start off with Jake Ryan Southgate, First Night at Freddy's Part 7, The Present. We have been watching this as a series, so I know it already exists, but somebody did submit it into the Scare Bad, so I thought I'd give them a shout out. How Hound Clown, thank you for the submission. I do appreciate it. We're going to jump straight into this, guys. Be sure to subscribe to all the creators. They will be linked in the description in the order that I watch them, so be sure to go show them some support. Open their videos in a new tab, maybe play it at the same time, mute the tab, you know, anything to kind of give them watch time all that stuff. Here we go. This is called First Night at Freddy's The Present. Oish. So in the last video, um, we saw that there was a, a possible malfunction with the uh, the mouth, the jaw, and he maybe like put too much force, like 60 pounds of force on the jaw. And we realized how easy it was for this thing to cause serious harm. And then it kind of cuts to like the body of the kid on the floor and it's, it was pretty, like, shocking, for sure. Oh, dear. Oh, look how wide that thing is. Now, why are you back here with Henry? Oh, you back here with are Henry? Are you not enjoying your party? <laughs> Do you not want to go and play with your friends? Well, where have you been? Yeah, where have you been? Headburn. Uh, he's got a point. Look, we haven't seen you all weekend, Will. <laughs> I had to do all the party preparations myself uh, for your son. Myself? Very, uh, where did that come from? Where have you been, Will? So at this point, was well, he killing people? Was he killing people already? Or was it the death of his son that caused him I to want to kill people? location for their grand opening. I wanted to go in and make sure everything had run smoothly over the weekend. Hmm, interesting. So that new restaurant takes priority over your boy's big day? Oh god. Don't get into this argument. Great. Real great. It's the fifth Fazbear location, Henry. <laughs> There's amazing yeah. stuff over there. That's, you know, you can I tell still you, celebrate your kid's birthday. An absolute hit with the kids. You'd know that. If you'd ever take the time to come visit us. You know why? I can't. I can't. Where does this accent come from? Do you always sound like that? I can't do it, partner. I'm not ready. Oh, is it his daughter died? Did you put the decorations up in Arcade Alley? Yeah. Oh, okay. Price corner two. Oh damn, Henry's got that dump truck. And what about the cake? Freddy's chocolate fudge cake. Freddy's he's chocolate crazy. fudge cake? God, I've got a disgusting mind. I need to start. I double the batter since he's turning the big one. Double digits. Should I have asked the fire? What's going on here? Well, what are you doing? That decision okay. Evan, why can't you just Good stay call. in place, mate? <laughs> hey, Evan. What's he doing? No, I've been saving this for you. Yeah, what for, is it? Uh, for a long time now. <laughs> what is it? This is an old Afton heirloom. It's a big machete knife. I was given it when I was your age. I made but my first kill when I was ten. What is it? A gun? <laughs> we'll open it together a little later. It's a severed human head. Yes. What is wrong with me? Stop it. Okay. Okay. I love how the majority of the people in the restaurant are just full Henry, on adults. Meet me in my office in about half an hour. All right? I guess the kids might be in the arcade. There's been some developments. Oh, wow. Uh, what kind of... Uh. Sure thing, old friend. Hmm. His accent kind of switches up. He goes like... What would you say that accent is? Georgia? 
Oh, that's such a Wait. cool transition. Will you be back in time for cake? I love those transitions, man. <gasps> Of course, my boy. Okay. I always come back. Okay, well, well, that was very, uh, on the nose. Damn, man. Imagine being confined to that suit. What would you actually do in that situation? Like, you died, you're a kid, and you wake up and you're in a... That's just depressing, isn't it? That's extremely depressing. Well, there we go, guys. That was Jake Ryan Southgate with the latest episode of First Night at Freddy's. Such a, it's a fantastic little animated series. Uh, one of the best animated... One of the best animations for FNAF out there for sure. So keep up the hard work, man. Keep up the great work. And we're going to move on to the next video. Okay, guys. So the next video was submitted by retired meme lord skull on my discord so thank you for the submission it's called sonora crt sas002 jurassic park analog horror by cd jurassic a lot of you seem to enjoy the old uh, jurassic park i think i've reacted to yeah an old jurassic park san francisco analog horror like 1997 was it oh, i forgot what it was but that was really good a lot of you guys seem to enjoy that there seems to be a lot of uh, jurassic park fans in my uh community so this one's for you guys i myself i i remember watching jurassic park when i was very very little but i honestly do not remember the story at all i should probably watch it again in honesty because my my housemate's a huge fan but yeah here we go we're gonna jump into this open in a new tab if you wish and we're gonna play there's no captions for this one guys so i do apologize 100 percent. okay There isn't many good horror games. They should remake Dino Crisis, shouldn't they? Why haven't they? They remade Resident Evil uh, 2. They've remade all the Resident Evils, basically. Listen, guys, would you like to see a Dino Crisis remake? I've, I'm pretty sure a lot of people would. I remember playing that game when I was little on the PlayStation. It was such a good game. I really loved it. They really need to remake that game. There was a breach in the Carnotaurus paddock two nights ago. The paddock appeared to be down for exactly 10 minutes with no signs of any damage. Fortunately, our dinosaur did not escape. Did not escape. We have reasons to believe this was malicious. Malicious. After the can Carnotaurus was put down and airlifted, we discovered the remains of a person within the paddock's fences. Alongside the remains, we found a camera with an intact VHS inside. This tape appears to be directly linked with a G JPAC member involved with the Toro team that went missing the night of the breach. I don't, I don't know if I'm pronouncing this word right. Carnotaurus? Carnotaurus. Can, can, because it was like when I first started playing FNAF, right? Instead of saying pizzeria, I was saying pizzeria. I'm an English man. How is it that I fail so bad at English? I don't know what it is. English is hard, okay? This is the recovered tape. Thank you for the picture, man. Good looking tape. Sonora, CRTSAS002. I was handed a paper today regarding Sonora. Our Canator. Canatosaurus. Can. Can. Canotosaur. Canatosaur. Ingen one, Ingen, in Jesus Christ. All right, hang on, what's happening? You trying to make me look bad? Is, is, is that what this is? <laughs> Ingen, <laughs> Ingen, I don't know, man. Ingen, Ingen, oh, Ingen. Wants to put it down due to health and safety concerns in around a week's time as she has been showing signs of extreme aggression and restlessness unless she improves. Was that the email that we just read? Oh. Oh, there's blood there. Okay, what's happening? Is there a dinosaur in there? <coughs> Pardon me. Just three days ago, one of my co-workers had to be brought by helicopter to the mainland after suffering a severe injury from Sonora. He was tasked to fix one of the floodlights while on the crane. Sonora bashed up against it, causing a collapse. Unfortunately, further details regarding what happened are unclear. 
a picture from this morning. A change of diet was proposed earlier and today we put in it into action. A recent undisclosed sauropod, sauropod had just passed and was sent to the paddock this afternoon. We'll be able to tell tomorrow if it works or not. We don't have much longer before Ingen takes action. Ingen. Ingen. Vehicle in motion. Gate feed sequence. Door inserts in motion. Okay, this is an interesting way of showing it, to be fair, without showing much. It shows a lot without showing much. Door insert set. Locking door. Oh, that's a loud sound. That is so loud. Oh my god. It appears Nora actually ate a good portion of it. These are... There appears to be plenty more and at least it's eating something now. Unfortunately, Sonora still has a lack of sleep, which has not been good for its level of aggression. It's moody. Okay. Anyone who's hungry and tired, whoo, you're going to meet Hal if you get on the wrong side of them. That's for anyone. That could be like the most pacifistic, that's a word, most pacifist person out there. You can't mess with it. You can't mess with a man's diet or a man's sleep. Woman included. Oof. That's a big boy. Big girl. Whatever. So this is Sonora's feeding pen. This is where she's caged. Whose bright idea was it to bring dinosaurs back to life? Tree damage taken from in paddock cam. It's official. Sonora will be relocated in two days' time. I'm not sure what will happen going forward for Sonora or our paddock. Most of the staff has been relocated, and it just leaves me and one other for pure over for pure oversight for the next day or two before the Ingen team comes for retrieval. Retrieval. Okay. Excuse me. How the hell do you relocate a dinosaur? What is the procedure for that? That is crazy. How many like tranquilizers do you, do you need to use? Um, imagine you know you get zookeepers who just go in with like the freaking animals and stuff, and like they they're friendly with the tigers. Imagine being a zookeeper for a dinosaur zoo. I bet they're paid quite a bit. You wouldn't go in there, though. You wouldn't just... A package appeared in my locker with my name on it. It contained an old syringe used to collect tissue, along with a note. An opportunity. You will be on your own tomorrow for most of the night after CRT SAS002 is sedated. Um, still, what is that sedation? I want to know what that gun looks like to sedate this thing. Unless they they feed it something and it's got, like, a shit ton of, like horse tranquilizers in there or something at probably 3 15 a.m turn off the power to the paddock you will now have 10 minutes to go inside the fence and use the syringe to extract a tissue sample return to the east dock and back before 5 a.m one of the east dock place the sample in the refrigerated container in the locker 356 for this you will be rewarded a large payment stay in touch are they are they are they trying to clone this thing Push red button immediately after needle is removed from species to activate two hour refri refrigerant. Break off the needle after sample is retrieved and dispose accordingly. Use handle to thrust the needle into the species and draw back on the handle to capture sample. Here we go. He's gonna, is he going to do it? I wonder how much money? How much money are we talking here? How much like moolah? Wonga! If you guys remember that from the UK, that freaking... All right. What was, that? what was that advert called again? Was it Cash for Gold? Why do they need so much gold? Makes you think, doesn't it? My dad says it was for building spaceships so that they could get off this earth. So is the at this point, has the tranquilizer been done? It's pretty cool to see, like... Jurassic Park as, an, as like a found footage would be pretty freaking cool, wouldn't it? 
like from the perspective of one of the employees or maybe just a visitor who found themselves like in a lockdown situation and didn't get out in time and they've got this camera. I think that would be really freaking cool. That would be terrifying if done right. Oh dear lord. Oh hell no! It was meant to be asleep! Didn't make a single sound. Oh. Oh, okay. Wow, yeah, okay. They sent him in to die, basically. Either that or... The, I don't know. They, they either set him up or they wasn't sedated properly. How, Like I said, how the hell are you meant to sedate a dinosaur? There seems to be a lot of these Jurassic Park kind of like horror, analog horror things. It's like its own kind of genre, in honesty. But yeah, there we go, guys. That was CD Jurassic. Be sure to go like the video, subscribe, all that good stuff. This next video was sent in by Retired Meme Lord School. It's a very, very quick one, but it just looked too good not to show. It's by No Signal, and it's called Subliminal Barbie Found Footage. And that's all I'm going to say. Let's just watch this. Hello? How did you get into this situation is what I want Hello? to know. Hello? Hey, guys. What is this place? It's like if freaking um, what's that? What's that game called? Poppy Playtime. It's like if Poppy Playtime met Barbie. I don't like this. Hello? Is someone there? Hmm. Oh, this is nasty. I I like the 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 tension building though. It's behind you. Oh my god! Guys, imagine a game like that. Wait, what's this? Having a tea party with a sleep paralysis demon. Does it talk? Right, well, I've seen enough of that. Imagine a game like that, where it's like, it reminds me of uh, Choo Choo Charles, is that what it's called? I never actually played that game, but it's like Choo Choo Charles, where you gotta just kill off that spider train and cut, like build up your train. But I, I, lo I love stuff like that, just like, just really niche ideas, but pulled off in a very effective way. Right, last but not least, guys, we have Ruster. Uh, this was sent in by Y Goti. I'm, I'm not sure how you say that name. Egoti. But yeah, Ruster used to be a backroom, but I guess they still are. The backrooms created. They have some very, very popular videos that you guys have probably seen. Um, I thought we could come back to the backrooms because because there's a lot of creativity behind it. There's not as much hype behind it anymore. Well, although this has got 36,000 views in six days, um, I, I feel like showcasing these is good because it shows off a level of talent that is hard to find on YouTube. So here we go, guys. Okay. What's happened? Okay, guys just working at their desk job. Imagine having a desk job in the back rooms. How would you even apply for a position like that? Like, a, like one of those top secret kind of organizations. Man, this guy is scooting. What's happened? Oh, okay. There's the camera drone thing. Oh, they found a... Have they not found this... Did they not see this door before, or... What does it say there? Caution... What? Don't go inside! It's... Oh, great. You're stuck in now. Oh, you idiot. How deep is that water? Ooh, the sound design's brilliant. Okay, so it's shallow. You can see a shadow. What an idiot. Who just goes, like, full force through a door like that? Without knowing what's on the other side. You'd open it slowly, right? Then again, it wouldn't make much of a video if they just went, Oh, okay, close the door, video ends. 
Oof. Yeah, the sound design's really good. Visuals are fantastic. See, this is what, like, it doesn't get enough praise, guys. Do you know how hard it is to pull off, like, sounds that make it feel completely immersive like this? That doesn't disconnect you from the visuals. It's super hard. Oh, is that like a... Yeah, screw that. Oh, deep water freaks me out, man. Not knowing what's at the bottom. I don't know if there's been a backrooms level where you see, like, a monster at the bottom of a pit. Like a... Uh, uh, actually, I think there has been, to be fair. What is this music? Is that something you'd hear in, like, some kind of... Spa? Rehabilitation center? You are more than your addiction. How very random. That's a very good speaker system. Was it? Unless that's not the... Ooh. Ooh, that's... Right, you don't... That music could have been lully... Like, been a lullaby for a eldritch being at the bottom of that pool. I wouldn't mess with that. I mean, I, prob yeah, I probably would. Let's be honest. Who knows what the correct thing to do is in this situation, you know? This guy's a trailblazer. Oh man, I hate this. Oh, I hate this. This is nasty. You just feel like there's eyes watching you. Ugh. Where are you meant to go from here? Don't... Are you actually going to go in? God. The echo is ridiculous. The reverb. Then again, I guess it's pretty big, isn't it? That's what she didn't say. Wait, where? why is there not a hole there? Oh! Oh, hell no. All right, why would you put... Okay, that just, I don't know what just happened, but that made me jump and something just went in my eye. That is ridiculous. That is the most effective kind of jump scare that's not a jump scare. Like something that you don't know in the distance, in the shadow where you can only see its eyes, lunges at you in a pool of water. This is my worst nightmare right here. How no. And the thing is, if you jump up into one of these holes, who's to say there isn't more of these things just hiding in there? Oh, oh. Oh, that looks super fun. Holy shit. Oh my God. This is mwah. This is mwah. This is phenomenal. Oh my God. It's corporate America right here, guys. Ugh, okay, well. That was spooky as fuck, man. Holy shit. This deserves a lot more views. Because that was really well executed, I think. It's very hard to execute something like that. But I think they did it perfectly. Okay, this time, don't kind of swing your whole body weight into it. There we go, he's learning. He's done the ready or not little peek. What is this company? Why do you need so many employees here? We'll pick it up. Hello? Welcome to your new job. Oh my god. This is literally just, you know, those dreams that make no sense. Yeah, you ever have that, guys? I know, I'm just going to quickly say this now, but when you, um, you have a dream, right? And then someone says something in the dream, and it's like you have false memories of what they're talking about. So you remember what they're talking about before 
it's super strange. It's like it's like there's a connection there where you know what they're talking about and you can remember, you can visualize what they're saying, even though it never happened. It's crazy, right? I guess it's because it's your brain making all of it up, so... Oh, I don't know. Who is it? Oh, camera just stopped recording, guys. Oh, no. Okay, well, this is just... This is the, my worst nightmare. He's combined two things that are completely my worst nightmare. Fear of deep water, something lunging at you, and then also something coming from a dis you hear something from a distance getting gradually closer to you. I hate that so much. That is terrifying. What? Oh, how close is it? Oh, he's going into the dark. I don't know what it is about the distortion either. I'm going to tell you a story after after this. Um, that it, what it this reminds me of. Brokes. Oh God! Why are you stopping? What is that? What the fuck? Oh, the little touch of like, he dropped the camera. He dropped the camera and look, you can see his body. Oh, that is so cool. Why is that lava? He just fell into lava. That is the worst. Holy shit, that guy could not catch a break. And this is why, guys, you should open the door, but don't put your full weight into it. Because that could have been easily avoided. He could have gone... Yeah, no, thank you. And then that's it. Or have that other guy go with you. Just be like, oh, hey, I'm going to go check this out. Can you quickly come with me? Then he could have opened the door for you. That was one of my favorites. I got to say, in terms of like scares, that was very scary. Like that was, that shook me a little bit. I'm going to be honest. There we go, guys. That was Ruster, the last video we're watching today. Thank you so much for the submissions, guys. I do appreciate it. Like I said, all the creators will be linked down below in the order that I watch them. So go and support them. Go watch the videos for yourself, all that good stuff. If you did enjoy my reaction, why not leave a like, rate, and subscribe? Like I said, we're nearly at 100,000 subscribers. So any help towards that is greatly appreciated, guys. Thank you for watching. Goodbye, guys.